um, uh, riders uh, for the obvious reason. I see. Well, this this should be interesting because uh, two rather different styles of play on on display here. The riders very sort of uh, practiced with uh, uh, usually with uh, pretty uh, pretty straightforward but clear plans and the uh, and clan clan perhaps. I don't want to say more creative because the riders have Daniel, but uh, but uh, sometimes uh, I, I'm often surprised by what Clan Clan bring and how effectively they use it. So this should be a pretty exciting match. Uh, we won't be seeing too many meta midians kicking about. Let's put it that way. Mhm. Mm All right. So we have uh, players loading. Twenty three seconds. Ah oh, yes, the exciting new uh, loading system. Um, I. I I think this is a real boon for players that have a terrible connection, but uh, my uh, my patience is limited to over the the sixty seconds. It gets down to about well five or so, and I start uh, start fidgeting in my chair. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if all players are loaded, it, it will start, or will just count down? Yep, yep. So all if, right. if all players are loaded in, it just auto starts. Uh, so they they were able to do away with the. Um, 20 second load in timer for Blood and Brass, which was uh, which was a nice addition. That was uh, that was pretty pleasant. I see. All right, so we have first ship Yoli Derp Wagon, piloted by Xidan. Interesting name. Uh, it's a junker with um, that's Gatling Mortar, uh, Artemis, Hades, and another Artemis. Next one is KTN Fluffy Floof. Piloted by ITAG. It's a galleon with. Oh. It's a galleon with uh, heavy flag, lumberjack, huacha, carronade, every goddamn heavy can cannon, a Hades, and a flare gun. Alright, go ahead. And for Clan Clan, we have the Charles Mingus, a mobula piloted by Michi's moustache. It is. Uh, it has a top deck Mercury. One wing has a mine launcher, the left wing has a Artemis, and the lower deck is Gatling and uh, Banshee, I believe. Or not um, Gatling Artemis. And the uh, uh, second ship is the Clan Cake, or Clan Cake rather. Also a Mobula with a Mercury, it's got a mine launcher on the right hand side, uh, Artemis on the left hand wing, lower deck Flak, and a lower deck Artemis. It's an interesting combination plan have there, a sort of uh, split build in terms of the uh, 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 vertically aimable piercing and uh, explosive damage. Indeed, but now we have two against one uh, with Charles Mingus, but Clanky is going for support. Charles Mingus taking some watcher damage as well as Gatling fire. Oh, there's some nice mortars. I think more support from the uh, the uh, clan cake was coming in there than was apparent because the Charles Mingus did a very good job of just brawling up close against these two without taking much perma damage and is now inflicting pretty heavy uh, fire on the ye old derp wagon. Indeed, some mi mi mines hit the ye old derp wagon back there, so they are pretty much let's see, pretty much damaged, but. We managed to get systems back up, but against two ships it's going to be a bit hard to stay alive. Oh, Cloud Charles Mingus armor is down, but the old derp wagon hit another mine. Oh, Charles Mingus is close to the edge here. Indeed, losing armor. They lost the balloon, and one more shot down. There it goes. First kill goes to red team, which is 2000 team. Yes, the the riders there are uh, managing to pile on the focus fire onto the uh, the uh, the second of the two mobulas for uh, for Clan Clan, and now Clan Clan is trying to back out of here. It's not going to be the easiest job in the world because the uh, Fluffy Foot is firing in lumberjacks, and it's uh, uh, it's taken a little bit of balloon damage. Its balloons on fire, but I think that Steamy's going to manage to pull back here. Indeed. Interesting first engagement. Yeah, Clan Cake, uh, I mean the blue team, not Clan Cake, uh, also, uh, almost managed to get uh, Ye Old Derp Wagon. They had uh, quite damage on him. 
Also, KTN has some damage there done to their hull, but one one ship against two is still pretty tough. I'm still getting Captain Lewis. He has disconnected. Yeah, that that I think might be a bug that uh, that a hotfix needs to address at some stage. Um, so I see. Uh, one of the things I'm wondering here is who has the advantage at range? Because both these modulars are going to be very effective at keeping the um, galleon locked down with two Mercuries and two Artemises. In a straight up fight, you'd expect that the. Um, well, you'd expect exactly what is happening here. The galleon gets the ever loving crap beaten out of it, and down it goes. Um, I have to say, yes. Yes, like that, Clan Clan. Thanks for illustrating my point. <laughs> Yeah, uh, two Mercuries on, on the same ship, it can be devastating, like the disabling guns and then ripping armor to shred. Uh, armor's down on the derp wagon, I think this might be two to one, yep, there we go. Nice, nice, I have to say. Nice comeback. And Clanking has... Strong, uh, Clanking has uh, full health there, so I have to say that's... Like, they never did die. <laughs> well, I mean, like, now it's going to be the same thing, Like not like the full recovered ship against damaged. Well, yeah, that was that was the thing going into that engagement there, right? The riders had one ship at two-thirds perma and one that was uh, even more damaged than that, and um, Clan Clan had both their ships pretty much at full health, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't in as even a fight as it looked, although the... Galleon just got completely destroyed by the ranged focus fire there. Uh, two Mercuries broke its hull almost immediately, and then the Artemis fire was accurate in uh, in following up. So I, I kind of feel like that's what Clan Clan are probably going to be aiming to do here, is keep a certain amount of distance and aim to, uh, aim to maintain... Um, focus fire on the uh, the galleon. That the junker is not going to be the most mobile ship coming in. They can back away from it. They can they can keep it at a distance. So this is well. I I think again my predictions might be coming true because we've got a lot of fire coming in on the uh, fluffy foot. A lot of guns are down. Indeed, fluffy fluffy foot is taking some damage, but not too serious. Yield derps is charging in on two mobulas. Close range, he's attacking, I think, Clan Cake. Yes. Good few decent hits on the Clan Cake there. Uh, Charles Mingus continuing to focus on the Fluffy Foot. Uh, it's had an armor break, it suffered a little bit of perma hold damage. Clan Cake is being attacked by the Derp Wagon, but I think they're just going to push forward and the Junker is going to have to follow if it's going to help its ally, who's already taking a ton of focus fire down to about 40% perma, maybe as much as 30, 20. Oh, this could be it for the uh, uh, for the fluffy foot. Fluffy floof, uh, yeah, indeed. They the, the fluffy, the fluffy <laughs> floof. Sorry, I, I stand corrected. That's yeah. Word as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're trying to defend themselves with the uh, uh, with the hate. Uh, I mean, watch us. They disabled some guns on the Charles Mingus, but Clank like sting still hammering into the Fluffy Floof. Charles Mingus now recovered his weapons, now attacking Fluffy Floof. Fluffy Floof. Ah, Fluffy Floof uh, may go down here uh, in in just a short period of time. I mean, uh, like uh, it's it's got six manned light guns pointing at it now. I think yeah, that's that's game over for uh, for that ship for the time being. Indeed, Yule Derp Wagon is now two against one. He should, I guess, he should go close range. I'm not sure. It's a, it's a tough call. I don't know what I would do in in that ship at the moment because he's going to be focused down with their close range weapons. And yeah, he's got nowhere to run. Indeed, he must survive until the Fluffy Fluff can respond and go there for support. Now nailing some mortar shots there. Oh, mine launch. Ouch, that looked uncomfortable. Indeed. Yep, you'll derp. Uh, it's, it's easy to look at Zedian's position and say, here, gee, why isn't he running? But if, if he turns his back on these modules and tries to get out of there, I think he's just going to find himself focused. Artemis is straight into his blossom and then he's gone. 
I think he's got to stick about, fight, disrupt them, and hope that his ally can come in, which is exactly what's happening to the Charles Mingus. It's getting a few hits from the Fluffy Foot. Oh, heavy flak hit there, I think. And another, and down they go. Oh, that was some nice flying by uh, by Zeddy on there, and, by, and some nice shooting from the uh, folks on the uh, the Fluffy Foot. And now Clan Cake is faced with the same problem. Bud is having a galleon pummel the crap out of them. They've managed to get a disable on the lumberjack and one on the heavy flak, I think. So they've got some respite, but not a whole heap. Indeed. And they've managed to take out the Hades, but here come the watchers. Yeah, so Clan Cake now focusing Fluffy Fluff, I guess. I think they should uh, focus the old derp wagon because they are, I think, easier target, but. Mm, Maybe those heavy guns might... Okay, someone just fell from the ship, Clan Cake. Oh, they're getting nailed. And now everyone has fallen from the Clan Cake. Indeed. Um, did, did, it was just me or Charles Mingus when he died, his mind's just disappeared. Ah, uh, yes, yes. If, uh, if you die, your minds vanish. I see. Which makes it very sad to die on something like uh, Labyrinth because you can set up this beautiful 25 mine minefield and then find yourself with it all gone just because you, you yeah. fell into one of them. Alright, so 3-3 three, three, it's tied now. So we'll see how this goes. There's no engagements and won't be for a while. Well, the... The situation there was largely rescued by some good decisions by Zedion to stay in, keep fighting, and try and survive long enough to, to buy his ally time to come in and shoot down one of the uh, the Morpulas. Yeah. Um, the question is, can they repeat that feat, and will uh, will one um, or will Clan Can again focus down one of the one of the enemy ships, probably again the Galleon? We'll see. Hmm. Just, oh, okay. So, Ch Ch Clan Cake and Charles Mingus are a bit separated here, but still, they are far I think away they can from afford to be. I mean, they're, they're yeah. not going to be chased down by a galleon or a junker. Yeah, that's true. Nine minutes played in this match. So it's going a bit fact, fast, a I must say. A little separation might actually be good for Clan Clan here because the, the Fluffy Floof's Lumberjack has been exceptionally accurate once they've had a decent visual on the thing they're shooting and uh, Lumberjack can really mess up a mobula and keep you um, stuck on, uh, on the ground but that can only happen to one ship if you're separated because it's not possible to target two ships with a Lumberjack unless they're next to one another. I see. Spots so. going down on the dirt wagon, a little bit of fire coming in. Indeed. Uh, Fluffy Fluvain, he old derp wagon is focus are focusing clan cake while Charles Mingus uh, is going for a separate ship, I mean Fluffy Fluff and Clan Cake on the old derp wagon. Hmm, clan cake managed to get their balloon back up. I think Charles Mingus might be pushing a little bit hard here. Oh, that might be Dirt true. Wagon could come in behind them if they wanted. Alright, so Cla Charles Ming is uh, charging in. They lost balloon and managed to get it back up, but under fire uh, from the oh, Gatling. He old Derp Wagon. Down. It's been down for a little while now. He old Derp Wagon. And again, oh, off they go. Indeed. Wow, that was a really quick kill from Clan Cake. The old derp wagon just died, so Fluffy Fluff is now two against one. Maybe they manage to survive until their ally spawns and comes for a support, so just like last time, but oh, this is not looking good for Fluffy Fluff. I, I think this is a different kettle of fish. Trying to survive in a junker versus a couple of mobulars, there are some clever maneuvers you can pull off, but his best bet is probably to try and, well, do what he's doing now, get out of the Mercury arcs. Unfortunately, that does mean that his ally is going to be sitting uh, in front of these two and might have to hide her out or they'll suffer an armor break and they can't afford to have either one of them die here. 
Yeah, Charles, Mingus, and Clown Cake are separating. Clown Cake's going to keep the fluffy floof pinned down, and Mingus is probably going to kill the uh, the dirt wagon, who's already suffered. Oh, this is close. This could be it. This could be the uh, the end for your dirt wagon. Uh, Just one there more it explosive is. damage. Or... There we go. Nice match, I have to say. Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting match. A lot of a lot of. Um, sort of last second saves from the rider pilots but they just weren't quite enough uh, when faced with the, the, the overwhelming focus fire from the modulars and the, the careful positioning that uh, that Steamy and Nietzsche put together there special things to fire your boys yeah. as a pilot that might be actually a good practice uh, to like fly all, all around the ship to get the environment into your head. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's. It, I, I think it's something that it's helpful to to be able to do. Um, we've got the uh, the ships coming up here, so uh, uh, I'll mention this now. Remind me later uh, to talk about um, the new Minotaur, because I think that's going to get us <laughs> some uh, some controversial discussions going all right i'll remind you all right so first ship is sky pillow piloted by uh Xedeon mobula with uh get no that's an artemis flamethrower uh Karenate artemis and uh hades next one is ktn german gander <sighs> piloted by itac it's a mobula with artemis gatling artemis that's a Flare and a Hades. All right, go ahead. Okay, and for Clan Clan, we have the Charles Mingus, a Mobula with a top deck Mercury, a left side uh, Artemis, a right side um, Mind Launcher. Of course, it's a Mind Launcher. It's Clan Clan. A lower left Gatling and a lower right Artemis. And we also have the Clan Cake, piloted by Steamy Noodle. It's another Mobula with a top deck Hades. A left wing Artemis, a right wing mine launcher, lower left is Flak, and lower right is Art. Alright, so okay. still no engagements, but Clan Cake is spotted. So Nietzsche's bringing, I think, the same modular as, as last time, but we've had a little bit of switching up from, from Steamy on, on his mob he's gone for. Um, Oh, have we? No, no, that's the same thing, isn't it? So they're they're, they're sticking with uh, with their tried and true formula. Oh, shots coming in from the sky below on the clan cake, and they look like they're returning the favor. Indeed. Now we have some engagement. Let's talk about this. Uh, sky pillow lost their armor, losing their hull pretty fast, I must say. Charles Mingus lost their armor as well. But dodging the, the shots. The Mingus are in a much nicer position when their armor broke. The, uh, the yeah. Sky pillar didn't they managed to get some dodges, but oh, Kate and Jarvangander uh, lost their armor for a bit. Managed to get it back up, so no major damage was uh, dealt there. Sky pillow and Clan Cake is nailing each other. Let's see who will win. Oh, this is interesting from Clan Clan here because what they've got is the Mercury uh, is best dodged by using hydrogen. But the problem you've got if you dodge that ship with hydrogen is that the other one has uh, um, a Hades, which will be firing straight into your balloon if you go up. And so if you're dodging that with, uh, with hydrogen, you can find yourself um, unable to make use of the extensive vertical mobility that a Mobula has. And that could leave you in a really dodgy position. So this could be really interesting from, a, uh, from the standpoint of how Clan Cake faces off against the Sky Pillow. Yeah, so Sky Pillow... Uh, okay, Jormungandr lost their two guns, but no major damage. Is there Clan Cake uh, lost their armor, now taking damage to their armor, I mean hull. Uh, not serious, but still some damage is good. Sky Pillow is now engaged by Gatling and uh, Mercury from Charles Mingus. Oh, the uh, human uh, you're doing a much better job pronouncing it than <laughs> I am, by the way. If I'll continue to try, because it's you know actually a word and not uh, not something that um, 
uh, someone has made up to, to annoy casters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, yeah, they're, they're having trouble keeping that uh, Artemis in arc because of the, on, on the clan cake at least, because of the structure. I think they've just managed to get it back in there, but I think Finks was unable to see the clan cake for a little bit. I mean, he was busy on the balloon anyway, but uh, it did restrict the amount of fire that could go up. But clan cake suffered another uh, armor break. Uh, Faltus is, uh, uh, have they? No, they haven't. I'm talking complete rubbish here. Yeah, so they're Kyoto. taking a little more damage to their panel hole, but their uh, their armor's up. Yeah, Yarmung and their uh, lost their armor now. Two against one is not the best idea. But lost armor and they died. Oh, that was some excellent firing from a light flak there. I think. Okay, who's who's on the light flak? Uh. It is, it's uh, Faltus. Um, cookies for Faltus there, that was some excellent firing. Uh, the second the armor went down, that module was, uh, was annihilated. Indeed. Alright, so 2-0 in the favor of blue team, which is Clan Clan. Oh, pause. There's a pause. Will there be pause? Oh. Uh, did, uh, did one of the, uh, the combatants get, uh, get removed there? Things gone. It looks like oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Because Finks is balloon side on one of the modulars, but having an Artemis down in th th this kind of situation can be a pain in the backside. Mm -hmm. So there's a pause now. All right, there's a pause. I think it's probably going to have to be an unofficial pause because there is line of sight between the the modulars here; they can see each other. Well, yeah, but there's no engagement, but so I think. Well, it they can have be. a mercury. <laughs> <laughs> well. if, if there's a mercury pointed at the uh, the enemy ship, there's an engagement, unless they could, can move into hard cover. I well, that would be like, if I could, let's see, uh, where's the button? Okay, if I could get a mercury shot from here, I would be a... Oh my god, that would be like the best shot I could do. Oh, I don't know. Uh, what's the range on a mercury? It's... Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's about, what is it? Lesmog mercury, I think it's 3000 or something. Yeah, but like, to aim properly and stuff like that. Like, I can do miracles, but not magic. Oh, catch. Oh, you promised me you were a wizard. You, you said, uh, Nano, I am in fact a wizard, it's okay. And now you're telling me that magic isn't your thing. Uh, but, well... I can do miracles. Still. So I'm okay, um, so something you're like a just figure than than, oh. than wizard is is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm something like a lucky mage. Mage that <laughs> that <laughs> a mage that has lucky magic. All right, we have on pause, so back to the engagement. Clan Cake is spotted. Jormungandr is spotted. Charles Mingus, but Skype below is not yet. I think both of the blue team ships are focusing your Mungander. Skype below is now taking a uh, clan cake as well as your Mungander, I think, with those Hades. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit of ranged fire coming down on the uh, uh, new man, your man Gander. Your man Gander. Armor break. Ooh. Oh my, H armor break on your man. Ah, your man Gander. Uh, they're not looking good. They managed to get back up, but almost broke again. Yep, there it is. They're gonna have to pull. Oh, this could be it for them. It is, and now Sky Pillow finds themselves staring at three light guns. They've managed to get a uh, break on the Mingus, but that probably is going to be up before they can do anything with it. Yeah, that's true. They need to survive, so I sh I recommend to just back up and try to... Like, Gunner can be on the gun, but everyone else just repair. 
Oh, yeah, this, this is a definitely oh, a this is not looking choice. good. Try and kill one of them situation. But oh my. Not. Okay, some dodges. This, this is ugly. Oh my, oh my, this is not looking good for the sky pillow. Dodged again, but still taking some damage to their armor. Why? Wow. The, the problem they down. might have here is even if their ally gets in and rescues them, they might find themselves in two v one. Yep, there goes sparkles. But, uh, yeah, their their ally was waiting to to spawn, and they knew that uh, they knew that that was the end. So riders have a massive uphill battle here. They've got to get five kills in. Less than 12 minutes, I think. Is it I... less than 12 or less than, uh, less than... 12. Yeah, so they're, uh, they're up against it here. I have to say, I am pretty much surprised by Clank, uh, Clank Clan's uh, performance. Like, to bring down raiders twice in a row, it's is not like every day. It's like one once a lifetime. Oh, I don't know. I think I think that's true of a lot of of, uh, of clans. I think that there are two in particular that did stand good odds against the riders every time they play them. One of them is clan clan, and one of them is oh, we we've, we've just had a break on the uh, and uh, a death on on the uh, uh, clan clan team as we're singing their praises, and now clan cake is faced with uh, some serious opposition. They're managing to use one of the mobulars to body block the other one. They're ducking under, they're going over, oh my, that's some beautiful flying there from uh, from Steamy, that was a fantastic dodge, he's probably bought himself an extra 10 seconds of being alive there, the question is can they capitalize on it, Charles Mingus has come in, they know that they've only got to get one kill. Indeed, Clank Lake n now needs to survive until Charles Mingus can uh, pick some target, oh, the Jormungandr might be the down here, the Jormungandr lost yeah. their armor. Uh, and they're, they're focusing so hard on the clan cake that Charles Mingus is having a free run on them. Indeed, they're just trying to get uh, clan cake down so they can focus on the Charles Mingus, but clan cake, I think, just went uh, full survival mode. Mingus might kill them. If clan cake are. Yeah, clan cake might ram here. Boom. Oh, beautiful flying there from Steamy. Fantastic way to turn a uh, 2v1 in situation into uh, into a chance at victory which the clan clan then uh, capitalize on so we've got a resounding victory for clan clan there i think um and now uh, riders have a serious uphill battle to, to make it back it's uh, it's best of five so um riders two nil down well that's the thing oh uh, well it's the second ship so i have some time to prepare Uh, are you mentally preparing or are you reaching for the scotch? <laughs> so this is one of the, the newer maps uh, added, uh, added recently, um, Clash at Blackcliff. We're, we're heading off there to... So, so now that you've had some time to sort of play around on Blackcliff, uh, what do you think? And perhaps that's a question that can wait until after we've uh, we've started the engagement. <laughs> All right. So the first ship is Dragon's Rage, piloted by Xadeon, Goldfish with Huacha, Gatling, and Carinade. All right. Next one is Katian Aya Fiala Yokul. I guess piloted by Aitak. That that was fantastic. Uh uh, catch that was that was great. Yeah, not sure if I pronounced that right, but I managed to get it in one word. Uh, so squid with Gatling, Banshee, and Carinade. All right, go ahead. Okay, and for Clan Clan, we have the Clan Cake piloted by Steamy Noodle. It is a mobular with a top deck Mercury, a left side Artemis, a right side Banshee, a lower left Banshee, and a lower right Gatling. And we have the Abyss. It is a Junker piloted by Nietzsche's Moustache. On the left side it has a Gatling and a uh, Light Flak. On the front it has a Banshee and on the right hand side it has a Gatling and a Light Flak. That is a symmetric Junker. Interesting. So we have some engagement here. Uh, Clan Cake is going for Dragon's Rage but uh, KTN let's say, just KTN. 
uh, is focusing on uh, the Clan Cake and Dragon's Rage is doing something like 360 no scope I see. Uh, but no, no use. So I think this is going to be a very bitty engagement as the squid desperately tries to get his gatling onto the armor on the uh, clan cake. The abyss desperately tries to cover their ally and clan cake perhaps tries to focus down the dragon's rage. Yeah, oh, so clan cake clan taking cake. a ton of damage, down they go. Yep, squid on the riders, riders uh, team is going to be pretty much OP. So Abyss is now two against one, is not looking good. Abyss d doesn't have any subsystem except for one engine and one gun. I was going to say, they don't have to worry about what they're going to go and repair there because they've only got one thing. Yeah. No armor and no hull. Down the Abyss goes, that was pretty much a certainty the second that the Mobulot went down. and. First engagement to the riders with minimal casualties. Dragon's Rage, a little bit of permahole lost, but uh, I think if you told them that was the way that first engagement was going to go, they'd uh, they'd take that in an instant. Indeed, I feel Ayakul still on full uh, full armor and hull, so that was in a scratch for them. Yeah, that, that was that was kind of brutal. I, I feel as though the mobility that the riders have here might pay off. And oh, clan clan spawning very aggressively right behind the uh, um, the dragon's rage. Although the clash of blacklist spawns are a little bit uh, wobbly. The options as far as where you spawn as blue uh, are somewhat limited. But uh, they've gone aggressive. They've got arcs on the dragon's rage, and some shots are going out. But. Uh, I have to say, um, uh, Dragon's Rage, uh, nice dodges there. Uh, I have Yakul. I I actually can't read that name. Oh my god. Um, you're, you're doing way better than I would. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so Dragon's Rage armor is down. It's taken a couple of hits. And same has happened to the uh, the Iron Yakul. <laughs> Dragon's Rage, more fire going into them. Down they go. Oh my! And now the squid's got to run away. Yeah, I have feel you cool. Kill Plank, I, guess. I think they should run, but because like uh, they are getting nailed right now. So let's see here. Okay, they are going away. Well, they know that they don't have any disabled guns pointed at them on, on the uh, on the abyss. So I think they, they have, have a carronade, right? Ooh, yeah. They, uh, is that what, is that the front gun? No, uh, that's a that's a, a that's an aft gun. Karen, so the abyss has a um, uh, left and right side gat flak and a front banshee. Oh, you're talking about on the clan cake. Well, the the clan cake there had other things on its mind. Its armor was about to break, and uh, um, it had taken a fair chunk of damage with the engagement. Oh, the is there a pause? Looks like yep. Uh, well, like, not uh, yet. Clan clan. Uh, well. We, I think they are not in engagement. I see no. I, no spots out, right? Yeah, and no. And in between the two of them. So I guess no pause ATM or what happened? Alright, pause. Oh, I think Hamlin is having a, one of those bugs where um, fire doesn't work. Yeah, my mouse just went there wildly, so I apologize for motion sickness. My mouse just fell from the table, so it was like, oh my god. <laughs> camera, the camera went awire. Oh my. Um. Well, I've just suffered a disconnect myself, so. Uh, oh my! Yeah. I see it now. I'm, I'm, I'm in the game. I'm, I have no issues. Ah, uh, you see, uh, the problem is that Cadge is just sucking up all of the bandwidth. He's like, oh, oh I must have the best stream ever showing to me in the highest detail. Yeah, look at his charts. It's so high. 
Okay. Well, there's unpause. So, are you here yet, or? I have returned. All right. So. Oh, in spots going down on Clan Kankin Abyss. Indeed, five minutes played. Dragon's Rage charging in. Uh, I think they're going after Clan Cake because they have uh, the better firepower. Yep, I have Yellow Yokul uh, is going after Clan Cake as well. Abyss trying to support their teammate. Their teammate. Um, I have Yellow KTN, I can pronounce that right now. Uh, lost their armor for a bit but managed to get it back up. Clan Cake is going. Re re well. Ooh, is the watch going to come out here? Uh, oh, it's 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 almost. Oh, but here, here we again see why it is that squids are just so dangerous when uh, against mobulars. Oh, Couple yeah. of decent rounds with the banshee going into the armor and down they go. Indeed. So, Abyss is now two against one again. Well, yeah, I still think with. I know how this engagement goes. Mm, not good for the Abyss, I must say. And there goes fireworks. So All I right. think Clan Clan had a plan going into this. I'm not sure it's working. Mm -hmm. So 4 1 in the favor of the red team. So I believe there's going to be another match. Yeah. Unless Clan Clan pull off something special here, I think you're probably right. Indeed. I have to Maybe know. Clan are playing for that uh, two-two so that they can have a uh, mine off. Yeah, seven minutes played. I have to know what Ayafiala uh, Yokul means. So, I tag you have to inform me of it. I tag bless us with your linguistic wisdom. Indeed. It's like, it's not even, our, my language doesn't even have this name. Oh, it's it's an, it's Icelandic. I, I, I'm definitely not Googling this, this is all obviously from memory. Um, it's, uh, Ayafjala Ayajokul is a, um, is one of the smaller ice caps of Iceland situated in the north of uh, Skogar, um, west of I'm English, damn it, I can't pronounce English words, never mind whatever the heck that is. Um, so <laughs> it's it's an ice cap. I see. Interesting, um, I'm, I have I'm, to say. I'm not entirely convinced he hasn't picked an ice cap that is particularly difficult for, uh, for um, more linguistically challenged, uh, less sophisticated... Uh, um, uh, uh, individuals to uh, to pronounce there. So we, we've got a little bit of low movement here from the riders. Very low in the case of the uh, the uh, squid there uh, bashing into the water. Still, will have plenty of time to repair their armor and get it back up before anything happens. All right, I was I I uh, I actually did Google the, the the mountain or let's see. So it's oh my god, these names. But there's Holt and Asolf uh, Asolf Skali. I, at, at this point, I kind of feel like Wikipedia is just making up names. <laughs> well, I reckon that's what happened. This that's was a Google Maps. has actually gone in and edited Wikipedia himself to make up a whole bunch of, uh, of names for places. Oh, I have to disappoint you, but Google Maps has that as well. Oh, what you're telling me is that ITAC has spent way too much time on this project. I have to say, unfortunately. Ah. 
All right, so I... we have Dragon's Rage now might just be spotable by uh, Clan Cake. Uh, the teams are describing it as NASCARs of, uh, of Icarus as they've flown around the mountain here a few times on the refinery and mountain a few times. But Clan Cake is now spotted. Dragon's Rage is incoming. Abyss is spotted. Dragon's Rage spotted again. Wait, no. Already spotted. The, uh, the squid is spotted as well. Squid suffers an armor break but is able to hydro out of it. Indeed. And now they're where they want to be. They have arcs on, uh, on Clan Cake, but they also have Abyss shooting them. Their armor's broken, but uh, it's inside arming time, so only 50% damage. Probably wouldn't have been enough to kill them. This might be, though. Oh, the heavy flax, most of the shots miss, and now the Abyss bumps the Clan Cake. They both get a big chunk of Watcher. This is this is not working out as well as perhaps Abyss and, uh, and Clan Cake might like. But they have done some damage to the squid, so they've got that running for them. Now the dragon's rage is sitting in front of the mobula, taking a fair chunk of fire. Indeed. So Abyss is taking uh, s uh, some damage there, but not too serious. Where's my? Okay, there it is. So Here comes the banshee. Yeah, Clan Cake's losing a uh, hull. They lost armor. They managed to get it back up uh, for some time, but still focused by two ships. Abyss. No balloon, losing armor, Clan Cake lost their hull. And down they go, and so now it's 2-1 in favor of Clan Clan. A, uh, perhaps the beginning of a comeback from the riders there. Indeed, so red team wins. Uh, that means riders, or 2000 team. Uh, there's going to be another match then. But still, there's a match point for Clan Clan. All right, we have the first ship is Duel of Fates, piloted by Xedion. Uh It's a galleon with uh, every goddamn heavy gun except for Minotaur, uh, Hades, and a flare gun. Next one is... Is that the same build? Yes. No, they have a Minotaur. All right, so it's a uh, KTM Fluffy Floof. Piloted by iTag. And a flare and a Hades and a Minotaur Lumberjack Carinade. A watch, I think. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and for Clan Clan, we have the Charles Mingus. It has a top deck Mercury. It has wings as double flares. Yes, you heard that right. And it has lower deck double Artemis. We also have the Clan Cake, which has a top deck uh, Mercury. The wings are double flares, and the lower deck is double Artemis. Yeah, all right, no engagement here. I think this will be a, for a while. Oh, this is a really bold move by Clan Clan here because they cannot lose their balloon. Oh my! If they lose their balloon, they have no piercing damage. They have no um, Artemis arcs. The only thing they'll be able to do is fire flares into what will probably be a chem spray balloon. Oh, I see they went all the disable mode. Mm. Very interesting. They don't have anything for close range. Except for flare. Well, they, they don't necessarily need anything for close range, right? Because the galleon will have a hard time getting their close range guns on a Mobula. Yeah, they could charge in and try and put their Watcher Carinade side on them, but if they do that, the Mobula's superior vertical mobility should let them get out of there. Well, we'll see. Their, their, uh, their pilot skills will be tested here. I, I think this is going to be a test of everyone, because this, this is a fascinating face-off. The, the galleons will get the advantage if they manage to pop the balloons and keep them popped, but the mobulars could easily lock down all of the guns on those ships. So long as they, they keep hitting those lumberjacks, there's very little that either of the uh, the rider galleons will be able to do. It may just come down to who has the superior gunning here. Mm-hmm. First right. shot's going out. And uh, it's a hit. 
interesting. The um, the riders have their close range side pointed towards the uh, uh, mobulars at the moment. I think this is going to be a very bitty sniper match because neither of these teams have uh, much incentive to get up close and personal. Yeah, that's true. Well, we'll see. Well, we have 20 minutes for this match. So here's a truly horrific question. What happens if it gets to... Um, gets to, to the end of the match with no one having uh, scored a kill? Well, I guess that's a tie. We're going for the other match. I guess you're probably right. Yeah, the, the reason I ask is these could easily end up just sniping at one another for 20 minutes with these loadouts. Well, I think, uh, maybe, well, I think definitely someone would make a move, or try to at least. Uh, who, who do you reckon would move? Because the mobulars can't close, there's no reason for them to, and if they did they'd just have worse arcs on their mercury, so they're, they're gonna stay back. I just received... The galleons could close, but... Can you imagine flying into two Mercuries and Maybe, and I living? think maybe, uh, Mobulus will be the one who will charge. Well, like, they, well, at least for mid-range, mid not close range, of course. It looks like Lou is thinking the same thing I am, because he's going to consult the rules as to what happens if this is a tie. Indeed. But if, if this is right, Clan have absolutely no reason to, to, to close the distance here. Well, we'll see. But uh, it's... Right, it's quite separated here. Yeah, but... Uh... Well, now it's 2-1 in favor of Clan Clan uh, match-wise. So, if they, l if like, if it, if it's going to be a tie, maybe like I, I think the riders will have a second chance, like to have a tie, because it will be the fifth match. This is only the fourth match, but oh, Lucy just left. Or can the SCS be tied? Well, I'm not sure. We can put up a cheat yeah, sheet. Sure. Yeah, we'd, we'd, I'd have to consult the rules. I, I don't, I don't remember what happens in the event that there's a, uh, a, a tie in a best of uh, three or best of five. I just pronounced myself as a temporary ref. Congratulations, Kentros. You are in fact king for the day. Well, that means that you get to rule on everything. Oh, first shots going out. Well, okay, first shots of disengagement going out. Couple of hits on Jewel of Fates. Uh, nothing severe. All right, so yeah, not not too serious, but still, uh, half of the armor of Jewel of Fates has gone down. So that's a lot of damage on that long range. But still, it's no. Really worse. No guns on that side now. Yeah, well, no yeah, serious damage there, but. Down. I think Lewis just uh, overheated his computer from thinking so hard on the rules. Yeah, the, the rules were just too exciting for Lou's computer to take. <laughs> yeah, so much emotions. <laughs> All right, so duels of duels of fate. They're going to wow. try and move into cover here and they'll probably succeed, but if this engagement keeps going this way, then riders will just be very... Oh my, what's happening to Charles Mingus? Charles Mingus lost Heavy their armor. Hits. Fantastic shooting from the riders there. That's that's unpleasant for the Charles Mingus. Its balloon is badly damaged, its armor is pretty badly damaged, and it suffered about 65-70% permahol of uh, the whole damage in one quick succession of, I think, uh, a heavy flak and a lumberjack. 
All right, so um, I think maybe the riders smell blood in the water here. Well, duels of fate, they're receiving serious damage on their armor. I have to say. Let's see if Charles Mingus uh, will go down here, but uh, well, they lost their armor, losing balloon, armor's on fire, guns on fire. They lost armor and balloon, they're losing hull. Ooh. Pretty much anything hitting them at this stage will make their life miserable, and a thing does hit them. Indeed, clan cake should uh, go go away from this engagement because, like, they are a mobile after all, but two galleons shooting on one ship. Will be yeah, hard to dodge. Need to book themselves a uh, express ticket to not the heck here. All right, so um, I hope our ref managed to get the rules ready for us. Well, we we may not need them here. The uh, that's that's a uh, at the moment we're sitting on a rider win, so this game will definitely have a victor one way or the other. Well, now we have, but for, for, it will be for the uh, curiosity side. Yes, yes, for, for posterity. Yeah, so we can know in the future. But anyway, Fluffy Floof losing a bit of armor there, lost their gun, but managed to get the armor back up. Clan Cakes receiving damage to their balloon and armor. Balloon is down, shoot vents deployed. Uh, armor is on fire. No, this is the problem that the mobulars have. The second their balloons go down, that's Mercury arcs gone, Artemis arcs gone. I mean, they're, they're able to make hits at the moment, but how much longer that stays the case is, is, a, is an open question. Alright, so... I pre Well, not predict, but I assume there's going to be the first killer rule. I guess, yes. There's a... There's a uh, if it stays the way it is at the moment, then the riders will uh, will have this. All right. So, well, duels of fate lo uh, losing their armor. Uh, they have the fire stack there. Nothing too serious though, but still, duels of fate might be the target here for the Mobulus. I think they've got to target both of them. Um, although that doesn't look like what they're doing, so maybe you're right. But yeah, I think they, they need to keep those lumberjacks locked mm, down. Dual maybe of one fate. Artemis uh, dedicated to that should be enough, though. Duels, duel of Fates just received uh, some damage to their hull. If they go down here again, mm, it's not looking too oh, good. Charles Mingus lost a bit of their balloon, but... Oh, Clan Cake lost their balloon. Those of fatal lost armor. Oh, yep, they're suffering a few hits here. It takes a while to get the armor back up on a galleon. That's true. Those of fate is repositioning closer because they know that uh, those Mercury's and Artemis's won't get arcs quickly if they're a little bit nearer. Yeah, Clan Cake managed to get some dodges on that shot while there were balloon balloonless. Duels of Fate. A few shots going wide from the Charles Mingus there. Looks like uh, maybe a bump happened because they're facing quite a way a ways away. Indeed. Oh, Duels this of Fate. Straight up sniping slot. Yeah, Duels of Fate losing armor. Yep, it's broken and now. Oh, this could be it. Yep, yep it's dead. So. I assume the riders still winning because of the first kill, so now they need the second one in order to win the SES. I I mean the clan cake needs the second kill. Ah uh, yes, but I think they're gonna get a kill on, on Fluffy Foof here, depending on how accurate the Artemis fire is. Um, Fluffy Foof is gonna try and run away, but that's gonna leave them with their engine column facing. Well, I think. Well, I think that's the best thing they could do. Like, uh, Fluffy Fool just uh, survive till Duels of Fates come here, and just support them with long range fire. Twelve minutes played, 
So eight minutes remaining. I believe the other thing the modulars have to consider is do they have access to hardcover where they're moving to? Because when their balloons pop, they want to be falling somewhere safe. Yeah. Those of fate is now, I think, the target for the mobulus. It looks like, yep. Not sure why though, like, Fluffy Flu uh, is a bit damaged there, but still, well, Duels of, Duel of Fates, not Duels of Fate, Duel of Fates uh, is exposed there, so I guess that's why. I think that makes a certain amount of sense, yeah. Um, Duels of, it looks Duel. like they're trying to focus down them. Um, that, that the heavy guns have been in reasonable shape though, I've been watching Jewels of Fate and not many disables have been coming out. Uh, they've managed to take out, well, a fortune, they're not going to be worried too much about that. But the Lumberjacks are still online, the the, the heavy carronade is up there, there we go, there's a hit on the Lumberjacks, so they're rebuilding that now. Indeed, Clan Cake is now a bit damaged there, nothing too major, but still duels of... Du I'm still saying duels of fate. It's a, it's, it's a confusing name to try and plural pluralize. There's a, there's a sentence that we can definitely get out. Yeah, this sure. this is, yeah, this is kind of brutal for uh, for both teams here. Um, but uh, Clan Clan have to get another kill, so they're going to have to take more. Uh, more risks in terms of sitting out in the open, even if their armor takes uh, takes a few hits. Yeah, maybe they should move in like not long range only. Like they have the firepower for it, I guess. Well, the the problem with closing on a ship like this is you actually lose time with your guns on arc. Um, you you can't uh, you can't turn. Um, Keep the mercury in as effectively if you're if you're forced to, to reposition. That's true. But you can see there the mercury is able to hit, and now they're falling back into cover. But if they close, then the mercury won't be able to hit when they when they pull back up. Oh, but Clan Cake is taking focus fire here. Now they oh might my. lose their armor. It's at oh there it goes, balloon down, armor down. One heavy flak will make them really miserable. The ground will make them miserable too. 50 minutes played, yes. so five more minutes in order for Clank, uh, Clank, Clank to get two kills. That that might be a big ask here. Yeah. yeah, that can be a tall order. Uh, job number one is keeping the Charles Mingus alive because if it goes down, that they're, they're already finished. Uh, well, they should go the lower, I think. All right. I don't think they're going to have much choice. Two lumberjack uh, shots just hit the balloon. They've got it back up though, but they're, they're in, in hard cover. Yeah, Clan Cake is back. So that's something. Oh, I think. Not sure though. Oh, never mind. So we have a total of four minutes remaining for these teams to. to well, for Clan Clan to either get two kills or the riders have. Uh, even the uh, uh, the SCS. Indeed. It looks like the riders are repositioning, which uh, is going to eat a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. They put themselves somewhere where they can where they can defend. They really don't want to suffer two uh, two kills here. They'll they'll take being in a defensive position and ducking in and out when they suffer uh, breaks. Yeah. So I think. Uh, Clan Cake is moving in uh, for a bit of mid-range fight. K uh, yeah, fluffy Fluff. That's going to be a tough engagement for them to... Yeah, them because, because like, the now Jack it's two against one uh, until Charles Mingus go there, but they are a bit separated there. Um, oh, there's a Minotaur. Oh my, nice watch barrage right there, but still no, uh, no armor break. Now Charles Ming is there in position to engage, and they are engaging Fluffy Fluff. The question is, what are they going to do with uh, with this close engagement? Because they're not going to get any more firepower. They're they're only getting 
uh, slightly increased accuracy from their uh, um, from their guns. They're, they're not going to be doing more. Uh, well, no, as you can see on the fluffy fluff, uh, they had to turn, so they have uh, two guns instead of three long-range guns in arc. But the Charles Mingus d managed to disable both of those guns, so fluffy fluff is now defenseless. So maybe that's why. So they can like, so they can have the higher chance to disable the guns and just go for the kill. Oh, break on the Duel of Fates. Artemis is coming out. There's one of them firing at the moment. I'm not sure where the other one is. So I think that's the best tactic the clan ca clan clan could make. Yep, they're going to be pushing it to the wire, but you might be right. They might just pull this out here. Yeah? Two minutes remaining. We'll see. If I had it intense music, I would play it. Yeah, we, we clearly need some uh, some power cords strumming away in the background. So this is the problem that the Charles Mingus, I think, is going to be facing. Their downward arcs are okay with the Artemises, but they're not going to get armor breaks unless One the One minute remaining. Fluffy Fluff is going for it. A break on the Fluffy Fluff. All of their guns facing the Charles Mingus are down. They're going to have a few seconds here to, to fire at them and, and do have some damage. Uh, Mingus blocking a mercury shot there from the uh, uh, clan cake. Indeed, oh, fluff this, fluff. This, this is an interesting approach from the riders here. So they're separating their two ships. There's 30 seconds to go. They have to kill both of them. And In 30 seconds, we'll see. Fluffy to force oh a, my. A, um, this is intense. 20 seconds. They need to kill Fluffy Floof and Duels of Fate, which is not that far. Fluffy Fluff is down. Yeah, but 10 seconds. I think 10 this is, seconds. This is, uh, 9, over. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And. Blue team, please surrender. I think the riders will. Uh will be the first to admit they've dodged a bullet there on the timer. That uh, that last engagement was not going their way. Uh, I think if there'd been another two minutes on the timer, they might have uh, might have had a hard time of it. But rules are what they are. Riders managed to squeak a uh, win out of that one, and we're going to the uh, uh, to the uh, final match, which is uh, on duel. Is it Battle of the Dunes? Yes, it's Battle of the Dunes. Nice appreciate you inviting me on here so that you can can humiliate me with uh, with uh, with Icelandic <laughs> yeah I, I had a I have this like s almost every time when I am uh, streaming the iron fork someone just mashed their head into a keyboard and that's a name yeah well the, the at least in this instance it's an actual word it's, yeah. it's not like uh, it's not like uh, was it I, th I think it was clan clan who brought the hergen schmergenberg jogger no, what <laughs> oh i see the hergen schmergenberg jogger i i need to see it uh no you don't that the 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 random syllables <laughs> Oh, uh, I see. It, was, it was definitely uh, this was definitely a um, someone banged their head against the keyboard a few times. I see. All right. So the first ship is Dragon's Rage, piloted by Xedion. It's a goldfish with watch a uh, Gatling carronade. Next one is uh, Ayafiala Yokul KTN. Okay, they are going aft gun first. It's a squid piloted by Itac it, uh, with uh, Banshee, Gatling, and Mercury on its aft. Oh my. Alright, go ahead. And we have the Charles Mingus, a Mobula piloted by Nietzsche's Moustache. It has a top deck Hades, a left side Artemis, a right side Artemis, a lower left flak, and a lower right Gatling. And we have a Watcher Fish piloted by Steamy Noodle. It has a Watcher on the front and Gatlings on the side. Diversity quota. And we have dragonfish getting shot by lots of things and losing their armor. This is probably oh the my. best place to do that. Oh my, that's a lot of damage right there. Riders, I think they are underestimated their firepower. 
I, that was a little bit aggressive from Dragon's Rage there. I'm, I'm not sure that was their best plan either. Another break, couple of hits. Yeah. Almost. They managed to get back up, but I have Yala Yoko uh, targeting uh, Charles Mingus. Charles Mingus lost their armor, now losing their hull pretty fast. Oh, Charles Mingus might go down here. Down and the first go. kill goes to Red Team, which is 2000 Team. Yay! Diversity quota is now. Uh, <coughs> oh god. Oh no, I think Kaj is dying here. I'll have to have to take over while uh, while we resuscitate him. Um, diversity quota taking fire from the squid. It's it's oh it's it's armor's back up again, but it's facing two ships at the same time here. This is not going to be easy. It lost its armor again. Dragon's Rage doesn't have arcs at the moment, but I think they're about to hit a, eat a uh, backside full of Watcher, which is never fun. A couple of decent hits, enough hitting the uh, the armor and the engines there to get another break. The squid might finish them off here, but Charles Mingus has arcs on the Dragon's Rage. There's another break there. This could be it for the Dragon's Rage. Alright, I'm back. Their armor is back up though. Alright, so Diversity Quota just died. Nice ram uh, by Dragon's Rage into the Charles Mingus. Now two against one. Oh, I have Yala Yakul just lost their armor for a bit. No, yeah, this, this could hole. be a meat grind here for Clan Clan, which would be a real shame given the way things have been going. But Charles Mingus is managing to uh, dodge the Watcher. He's not dodging the Banshees, though. Yeah, I think come the Banshees, that's two thirds of their. Uh, I'm sorry, about half of their armor down. The Charles Mingus now taking shots to their. Uh, oh, down they go, and it's 3 0 to the Riders. Oh my, Riders did it again. All right, so brutal, brutal engagement. Um, may I ask why? Like, I feel like you're cool. There's some smoke on their ship. Why? So I think that's an artifact of the recent patch. After things are damaged, they continue to to um, uh, spew black smoke for a little while. Oh my! See, even after they've been repaired. I see. Like an some effect just. Yeah, yeah, it's a particle effect, I think. I see. That's interesting. I, I was thinking, like, the, the because... The and Charles Mingus are back. Yeah, I, I was thinking, like, it was only for, like, the, the damage ship, like, if they're in third stage of uh, damage. Or second yeah, stage for be, someone. Yes. I, I, I haven't been able to pin it down yet, um, so it's entirely possible I've got this wrong. Well, the squid is all full health, so I guess no. Alright, they're attack the Ayafiala Yoko is attacking with their aft gun on the Charles Mingus. No use. Rem Mercuriana squid clearly OP. <laughs> Alright, I I, I I just uh I'll tap into the stream chat and there's a there's a there's a comment uh, called the the Cairo snort. <laughs> the the, the Cairo snort. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, what, I, what is what is the? I didn't know what happened back there. I was just like talking, and then all of a sudden the snort happened, and I almost choked myself. It, it wasn't an interesting situation. I, I thought either you've dropped your mic or a badger is trying to make its way up your esophagus and out your nose or something. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Alright, uh, Jesus. Alright, so Dragon's Rage is uh, taking some Hawaii Barrage there, but Diversity Quota is taking damage from. I have Yala Yokul, some Banshee and Gatling fire at the same time. I have Yala Yokul has their armor dropped, uh, Gatling damage and yeah, all. Yeah, they're not going to worry about that, but there's no explosive damage pointed at them. Yeah, they're however, try and get a, oh much my. damage to diversity as they can. One for one, so it's Charles Mingus against I have Yala Yokul. Oh, okay. I think Riders will take that because that, uh, one that more. goldfish was basically dead. I yeah, I guess. Now well, it's Mobula versus Squid. Charles Ming has lost their armor, but I feel like a cool. Oh, almost lost their armor. They managed to get it back up full health. 
Uh, Charles Ming is losing armor pretty fast I with this is Balloon, over. and there it is. Yep, that's it. Riders have won the SES 3 to 2. A very strong showing from Clan Clan, but in the end, the Riders managed to pull it out of the uh, out of the fire with a strong a time strain, but nonetheless effective comeback. Indeed, and that's it for today's SCS, I believe. So, the, uh, I mean, uh, whatever, 2000 team wins. 2 to 3, oh, I mean 3 to 2.